I, let me tell you something. Is that not a pretty background? Well, I need to set up. You got it on, don't you? Okay. What are you doing? Well, thanks for letting me fix my stuff. <laughs> I, I didn't have time to fix my stuff! Shush. Okay. You both go come out. Why don't you right, shush? Hey, let's show where we're at. Ooh, what's that? All right. So, <laughs> let's, see. let's not talk about do, what that is. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to show. Oh, this. Okay, the phone's going to get dry. So we're in, we're in uh, Newport. All right, and this is where oh, oh, I got this it. is where you can come down and put your kayak in. This is the Pigeon River, mm -hmm. and if you put it in here, it's about a four-hour, three and a half, four-hour um, canoe trip to incredible tiny homes. Is it okay? You can come in right here, and you can get out at incredible tiny. You've got to carry your canoe over the tracks, or you go on past it and go off the bridge. Oh, okay. But look at where we're at. This is in the <laughs> city limits. <laughs> Now, I'm not looking at the camera. Okay, I'll show you where to go. Let me let me zoom in to this. What? Uh, will it zoom? Them, you see them geese? It won't zoom in. Are we are we going? Uh, Is it yeah. on? Uh, well, why won't it zoom in? Wonder why. And then there's houses. You can't that live see here. the geese. There's houses that live here. <laughs> right. This is gonna be an awful show. All right, and this is a little pavilion that they have okay that we i'd love to build over on i need to make sure you can see what you're seeing oh there it is okay right there Ricky. there's a train trellis yes isn't, isn't that, that beautiful cool. right there it's still active that's so pretty yeah what, what do you mean it's active ain't it it goes up above it goes on top see the train's up top there it's still got yeah <laughs> what are you doing in front of the camera <laughs> all right and then look at that beautiful river what that? <laughs> where you go you the Microphone's over here. I'm not talking. <laughs> I can't. This is going to be the worst show you ever watched. Now How come we can't... Park are we're, and it's a little city park. Oh. And you can come down right here. And you put your kayak or canoe in. And you go right on down the river. Oh, wow. Okay. Isn't that nice? Now, when this thing floods, mm -hmm. all right, you guys see those brown rocks? Then you see the tan rocks? This water has been up almost into the parking lot. And it happens a lot. I wish I'd like to zoom in. I thought I could take the. Why yeah. won't it uh, do? I can't. Are you videoing this right now? Uh, yeah, it's on. Well, it, I can't get closer, but that's a bunch of geese. There's what thirty of them. Yeah, Canadian geese, man. What do you mean Canadian geese? Why would you say Canadian? That's just their name. Oh, I know you knew nothing about geese. Man, I know a lot of stuff. You don't think I know? I'm. Okay. I'm a very okay. I'm a very fart smirson. <laughs> okay. Are we? Are you done looking? Let's go. So this is our little setup here. Okay. Let me show everybody where we're sitting. And it here. is chained. So. Picnic table. They the, got it. This. On a, on a log here, so you can't uh, run off with it. Exactly. This see, is a really cool. See, so you can't run off with it. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm gonna set this up. Okay. Amanda said she wants to be closer to the camera because it's slimming to be away from the camera. One hundred percent, zero, uh, right. lot, absolutely, hundred percent. Okay. Right. So now we got the setting. How's that? Because the camera's uh, here. So whoever's closest on the, who's on this side is the bigger. Big. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, Today okay. is Wednesday. Wow. I it, didn't think we we're going to get to do this show today. It's already over after three o'clock. And it is. people have invited us to come to their house to do a Q&A. They have, yeah. We just haven't had time to set it up, have we? I know, we're gonna, but we're going to do it next. We've got some people uh, lined up, and they're waiting on a few things to do to their house. Yeah. So uh, we got some things in the works um, that, that you're going to be excited about. But we were actually going to go to a different location today, and then Randy uh, all of a sudden said, hey, let's go down there to the river. And I thought it was yeah, a great well, I idea. I made the wrong turn. Well, now that's true. We're I wasn't going to say and that. I forgot. I said, well, we're not going there. And that's... Let's go to the river. I love coming here. This it's is fun. an awesome place yeah, to come down exactly. to. Exactly. I hope that one day that we can make our island that we have connected to our property mm -hmm. look like this here. Oh yeah. And it can, man. I can. We can get over there. It, I just need time. It's going to be so amazing. Okay. So I, can I tell this on us? What? All right. Well, number one, I don't know if you know I've done this, but I've spent I've spent some money. <laughs> I spent the money, and he don't know. Okay. So. I may have bought two wagon wheel benches for the prairie that they that they've already assembled. Yeah. Okay, I bought a great big like seven foot tall fake cactus that they've put at the sign. Did you really? I did. Okay, awesome. they've already put it over there. They put some of those. Uh, what are those plants? They're like blue spiky plants, but they're metal, 
and they put that at the sign. So when we go back, I'll show you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they've already put that together. What else did I buy? I bought two blue herons, I think it was, uh, for the beach. Those crane looking things. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah Somebody yeah. said they were blue herons, but they said okay. it could be cranes, whatever. Whatever, yeah. Um, so what I'm about to purchase, do you want to tell what we might be purchasing for the prairie and for the... Oh, well, I bought. I just bought two benches, uh, glider benches, metal ones for the forest. I ordered those last night. And, oh, there they go. They're going home. They're floating down the river. Uh, they're out of here. So, uh, but two uh, glider benches for the forest for everybody to enjoy. And also uh, two, uh, two love seat, how do you say it, Adirondack chairs? Adirondack. Adirondack chairs okay. for the beach. So those are coming. Oh, nice. So I've got some okay. cool stuff that's right. coming, but there is some things that I was going to get, but they're a little pricey. So I was going to put them on a layaway plan. We're going to make payments <laughs> on them. We're going to make payments on it. So you want to tell what they are or no? You, both or be the same story. kind, right? So you got life-size, a life-size, life-size, right? Mm -hmm. Massive. Big. Moose. Moose. Great big things and everything and yeah everything. he's pretty pricey and the buffalo it's like a statue like a statue yeah, yeah. that can and, go outside <clears throat> and they're aluminum right i think they're like a statue that uh, sits outside it's a so, life-size moose yeah you're gonna put in the park yeah and it's gonna be stuck in the woods now there was one that was bronze but it was fourteen thousand dollars uh we're not getting that one uh, no <laughs> no that's a no and then you got a buffalo uh there's a buffalo that's gonna be for the prairie a real life size. Yeah, I think it's he's nine like nine foot, foot by six foot tall or something like that. Yeah, Buffalo. I think he was nine foot. Well, yeah, yeah, he was something yeah. like that. And there was also a couple of deer for the forest. Oh my God, you got them too? I haven't got them yet. They're in, they're in the cart. <laughs> okay, let's just say that they're in the cart. Gotcha. Yeah. So anyway, what we want to do, uh, we just gifted because we're we're gifting this to the to the. Yeah. Um, to the areas. Communities. Yeah, to the communities. So we also purchased um, horseshoe a horseshoe game that we gave to the prairie, I mean to the forest, and some other kind of game. I can't remember what the other thing. Oh, oh that was uh, in that box. Was yeah. it cornhole? I don't know what it was. But anyway, there was something else for the forest. Also, EJ was nice enough, and so was the mayor of Malibu on the beach. But EJ, uh, over uh, that's in their hobbit house over on the forest, she offered to take on the weed eaters we gifted a weed eater electric weed eaters mm -hmm. to the forest one for the forest one for the beach and one for the prairie so you can just borrow it and use it you can borrow it's it and battery, use it. isn't it anyone uh, no it's electric electric okay. so everybody can plug up into their thing and it, it reaches we gave them a hundred foot uh all gave all of them a hundred foot cord. extension cord and just plug it up plug it up and we everywhere. also give an extra set of um wire string string mm -hmm. okay yeah so we're doing a little bit at a time so just so we can pay for it as we go yeah. but we want everybody to enjoy oh i ordered a fire pit for the prairie as well to really? put between the two wagon wheel oh, things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be fun. little things and I want to do, man. And what we're doing is, uh, I thought it was a good idea, and I know you agree with mm -hmm. it, is we're just giving it to them. They put the they put the benches together themselves. Oh, they yeah, put, yeah, they yeah. assemble everything. So And I said, put it wherever you all think. Oh, and I got a, um, um, what are those things? like? Oh, wind chimes. I got some wind chimes for the forest. You're going to drive them guys crazy. Look at them over there setting up. Oh, they're not going to be happy with I mean, us. you're just loud, man. Oh, no. <gasps> if yeah. I have to be quiet. You know, there was a guy that left a comment um, the other night, and he said, <laughs> I can't stand her accent. <laughs> well, buddy, you better not watch this show. <laughs> Say, stop. Just turn uh, off. Wouldn't it be something if you could just touch the person you don't want to hear so they could touch mute the em. screen and mute me and listen to you? Randy is really nice to hear. You know, I know I'm a lot, but it's, it's all I got. <laughs> it's a, the only game in town. That's all I got. No, you're. I like you because you're different. Oh. You're different. Different in what way? I got a vanilla um, uh, voice. If so. I have to hear this again. Oh, can I say this about uh, Mr. Jones? Not you, Mr. Jones. But there is a Mr. Jones. Oh, Mr. and yeah. Mrs. Jones. Mr. Jones come in the other day. I'm I building him a house. I don't know if I already tell his right first now. name. Yeah, I don't know if you can't. Well, you done told all his business. Okay, well, his name's Dave. <laughs> don't just say it, Dave. Dave Jones. Dave Jones. Davey Jones, Jones, Davey Jones remember that? Dave Jones Locker. In that uh, pirate stuff? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I don't know what all that means. He come in, and he's an interesting guy. He's got a lot of stories from the the service oh gosh, and all that stuff. Yeah. Been in the he, East. Listen, he has got a voice that you want to hear, like reading a story. 
Oh. Oh, he's got a great radio <clears throat> voice. You ever I heard think, that? I think he suckered me into putting like twenty more thousand dollars in this house, and I said, "Sure." <laughs> Yeah, no problem. <laughs> this is not a contract. This is only a video. I'm just saying that. I said to him, uh, I said, could you come back and just read me a story? He has a great, he has yeah. a great voice for it. Oh, he's yeah. like a, what's his name? Earl Jones, uh, J uh, James Earl James Jones. Earl. Which one shot, uh, well, not the one that shot uh, somebody. I know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Always on the commercials and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But is this a great. We're getting way off track. This is a he has a Soft, great radio low -tone, voice. Baritone voice. Yeah. 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 So. All right. Um, well, none of that meant anything. <laughs> it never does. It never does. So there you go. Oh, these kids are going to play in the river. They're going to go jump in it. Go jump. In, hey, Randy, go jump in a river. I'd love to. I know. He would love to. I'm not a water person. So. Well, that river, it flows fast all the time. And you right? know, it's clean right there. And, and, but it's got green in it. You can see the green. Uh, the plants it's underneath really the water. It's really pretty. Oh, it's crystal clear, man. It's nice. Now, this river, I think I told it before, but this river um, goes to the Champion Paper Company in North Carolina. In North Carolina. Mm -hmm. and, um, Big deal back in the day. Yeah. What was Clinton's vice president? Oh, um, Al Gore. Al Gore. Mm -hmm. His family. Him yeah. and his family had big ties to that plant, that yeah. paper company. It's called Champion in North Carolina. Honey, we used to smell that. It, it destroyed Back this in the day. river. And there was so many cancers and stuff that come off this river. It was a mess. Yeah. And then, I think in the 90s, mid-90s, mid late 90s. That probably sounds about right. They, uh, man, they come in here and they clean that plant it's up. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look and now this. it's called the Sanctuary River. Oh, is, I yeah. didn't know that. And they've actually, the okay. white water raft on, of course, we on it, you know, we're on it kayaking and, mm -hmm. um, but there's only one more mile left that the mayor told me that they have to clean up. Okay. And it'll be a, a, a complete sanctuary river all the way to the lake. And it dumps into Douglas Lake. Okay. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. anyway, that's, and, you know, I didn't know it, but it's a big bird watching place. Listen, at exit 415 or 4, no, uh, 412, is that where the bird yeah. thing is? Me and my friend John went over there a few years ago, and it we did not we just stopped in there and just to look, but we did not go in and look at birds and all that stuff. But it is a bird sanctuary or sanctuary over there, so it's either four some it's one of the exits that's, over there. That's on the Holston River. Okay. This is the yeah. Okay, so anyway, so that is uh, not well, you, far I, from us. Well, you know what I thought about doing a, a video in the morning when you wake up. Oh, let's go over there. No, right oh. here, right there oh, on here. Incredible Tiny Homes. It's just like so loud of the morning birds when the oh, sun I comes know. up. exactly. They're just singing all over the place. Yeah, you know? exactly. All right. Uh, just a real uh, quick comment on mm -hmm. that. I, I watch uh, Lee Remini sometimes. She's the one, you know, the Scientology lady and all that kind of stuff. It's Anyway, it's all a bunch of drama, so don't judge me on that. I just It's a guilty pleasure, right? So I like to watch all that. But anyway, she posted on her TikTok or one of those things like that, and she said, listen to the birds, you know. You know, she got that, that Brooklyn... She got that Brooklyn talk like that and stuff. So listen to the birds. And all of a sudden, it's these birds. They're super, super loud. And all of a sudden, she starts F-bombing like crazy. She said, it's just too loud. I can't stand all these birds. It's, it's going on. Because she's from Brooklyn. She don't care about these birds. <laughs> oh, it's funny. She's like, this don't, this don't calm me down, keep me at ease. She said, it gets on my nerves. No, none of these are highlighted. Uh, no, they're not highlighted. But anyway, you just just read them out. Just read them out. Let's yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a lot to read. This is just an email. We'll do as hey, many as we can. Big bag. I hope you got a big bag of popcorn or supper. Or well, you're that's done a, for the day. A big bag of supper. Oh, you can you can watch <laughs> this anywhere you want. And you get a big, a bag, big of bag of supper. Yeah, from Sonic. We have some people listening to our show right here. So, all right. That's okay. Here we go. Okay. This is is that who is from? Dan and Brenda Costa. I thought it was going to be Costa Rica. Costa. Costa Rica. Right. Hi there. Costa. My husband and I are traveling in our RV and came across a tiny home dealer in Mentone, Mentone Alabama. Alabama. We went through all of them, and at the least expensive one, it was $102,000. Wow. Least expensive. Least expensive. Mm -hmm. I have been watching your videos for a while now, and you are very transparent in how you build and your quality. I knew what I was looking for, and the quality was nothing like ITHs. We rehab... We, we have, have had 13 campers. Over the years, mm -hmm. and I personally have lived in quite a few mobile homes, so I can hone in on just what what just what I... Yes. I just wanted you to know. To know. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a hone, a hone in on, on bad, bad craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Yeah. The cabinets are crooked <clears throat> and not soft clothes. Mm -hmm. The woodwork was not cut right and filled with, with caulk. caulk. I just wanted you to know. 
that you guys are the best. Oh, and they did not even decorate either. Wow. Similar floor plans, though. Have yeah. a great week from Illinois' Brenda Costa. I love that she sent this because they have the experience, <clears throat> kind of like your parents did, but they have been in 13 different campers. So they are very, they're a, they got the experience to know, yeah. uh, you know, what the quality and wow, how everything cool. ran. Yeah. That was nice. And that the price, nice. <clears throat> 102000 was the, the cheapest, cheapest of the tiny homes that they found. Yeah. Our model homes, you guys wait, they're wow. going to be amazing. I mm -hmm. can't wait. It's going to, the reason I'm excited about it is, yeah, there's eight models, right? Mm hmm And we're going to hone in on it so good. Yeah. The, the callbacks, the warranties, mm -hmm. and all that stuff is going to be so in, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And we take care of every issue that we know about. Well, you know? something very exciting. Well, number one, last week we were over at Zach and uh, Gwen's house, and Zach is building mm -hmm. not an exact Abington, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be, it's going to have the features of an Abington. Yeah. Our very true, the next true house, I'm pretty sure, is a Lexington that is getting ready. It just, I mean, it's being taken tomorrow, I think. Or next week. Anyway, Lexington will be next, so you'll get to see that model. So you get to see the Abington, Lexington, and the next one up is a Birmingham. Yeah. So That's it's for Anthony. So it's coming. Yeah. No, no, not not his. It was somebody else's. So it is coming. Isn't that cool? It's coming. You guys wait. It's yeah. Yeah, it's like, coming. Like this big sweeping overhang of this thing here just sweeps out, and it just it gives it such mm -hmm. character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Craftsmanship. Yeah. All right. Okay. Question. In the twelve by twenty. If we oh, decide, and tell who. Oh, it's Kath. Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. Boykin. Boykin. Cynthia, I'm pretty sure. Cynthia, aren't you the one that was uh, up at the sales lot that day that we met? And then she came down to the Women's Expo. I think that's Cynthia. Oh, yeah. I think so. If it's not, I'm okay. sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's who it is. Um, In the 12 by 20, and this talking about our Buffalo Creek video. Yes. It said in the 12 by 20, if we decide to take out the cooktop and put in a 20-inch range, mm -hmm. and later on, how difficult would it be to cut and reuse the cabinet? Okay. All right. Okay, if you put a, a 20 inch range, you might want to just, you can move the whole cabinet. You can take the whole cabinet out. Mm -hmm. The cabinets, I think, is a 24 inch cabinet that we okay. put the cooktop in. So you can take it out, cut your counter, and slide it in. Okay. And if your cooktop's 20, you can put just a filler on each side of your range. Okay. You know, um, I think Randy has a link to my brain. It <laughs> was hoping he would consider going wider. And you guys come up with the 12 by 20. Yeah. I've been hoping that you would have lots available on a mountain for this new house. And that is when you let uh, let it slip about Buffalo Creek. And today you combine my hopes into living a dream. Now I have to get things ready to buy at the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving us a chance to be free to live our lives. Yes, that is such yeah. a compliment. That's what we want. Buffalo Creek is going to be really... Mm -hmm. Okay, so Buffalo Creek is is going to be an affordable housing mountain home yes affordable housing because we're going to have our credit boxes living there our 12 by 20s living there and we're going to put a place that you can have um a place to build your house like i said work on your house put stuff mm -hmm. in a little workshop area you can do your shutters and flower boxes and and collaborate with other people and then go back and we'll have tools and all that stuff they're look, at, look at these kids. These two boys oh, are having. Right there. They're having a ball. <laughs> they're having so much fun, and that's yeah. shallow right there. It's like you know what? I want to come over here and do that because I can't swim. So I would do. I would do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My God, it's just right there. All right, so I got. Yeah, I'm doing that this weekend. Um, Diana Ribbon. Yes. You guys are an inspiration to me. It's awesome to see all of your creativity in the building of your communities. I've seen communities called. Agra hoods, oh. where there's a large space for everyone to grow their own food. Mm -hmm. A community garden. Is there room for for that anywhere in your new land designs, or would you be up to teach eat be up to each individual lc to do that on their own site? <clears throat> so yeah, you mm -hmm. do it on your own site. You can do raised beds on your and own site. And everyone is doing that, or most people are you doing that. You got a lot of room mm -hmm. to do it right there. I yeah. think. Listen, you have the space. I think you're going to want to do it next to your house. I think it's easier to take I care of. I do, too. Of. You can walk out your door. You can water it. Done. It's all done. Now, one place I did see today, mm -hmm. there's a lot of room still on our property. Yeah. If you go behind our warehouse, mm -hmm. behind it. Yeah, where the Milligan Mile where is. Where I have all that stuff piled up, the fencing and all that. Mm -hmm. That's all going to be cleaned up. I got railroad ties. This stuff I've been sure. collecting. We're going to be using all that up. <clears throat> and um, there is probably a mm -hmm. couple acres of just dirt 
raw dirt. And I'm yeah. going to start trucking all that topsoil across mm -hmm. the street. And just and put I'm it gonna, there. And I'm going to put it all right there. Why not? It's going to be a massive garden area. Oh, you ought to grow a bunch of lavender. It's going to be beautiful. And herbs and stuff yeah. like spearmint and uh, all Along that stuff that smells so good. That. Wouldn't a bunch of herbs smell good? Herb, man. Herb, <laughs> rosemary and all that stuff. L A C. Okay. L C C. A O L. A O L. <clears throat> Question. Q and A. Question. Okay. I really like the 8 by 16 closet water heater layout. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. The one we raised up there. Mm -hmm. Why not use this in the 12 by 20 and also lease a Leave. 20. Mm -hmm. leave mm -hmm. a 24 inch open space on the right side of the closet beneath the counter that way the buyer can use can choose how to best use these two open flex spaces mm -hmm. combo or stackable washer taller under the counter closet under the counter alcove trash alcove storage nook broom closet shelves etc I don't don't know if the ceiling's that high in the back back there for that. Mm -hmm. We can see. Um, great idea. You do not have to put a washer and dryer where we put it at. That right. could be a closet, room mm -hmm. closet, anything. So for sure, that's a great idea. Yeah. You want to read the next one? Yeah, I'll do it. Maria Flores. Hi, you all. Y'all are awesome. Totally awesome. I love all of your guys' ideas. Question: Where will the giveaway house, a uh, tiny house, be put? The giveaway house is just a giveaway. <clears throat> yeah, they'll have to <clears throat> run off with it. <laughs> they just have to pick it up and leave, and we never see them again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not going to be placed anywhere. The giveaway house is just a giveaway. It's going to be giving away just the house. Yeah. Um, uh, but in God's grace, if I win it, I will definitely move to Tennessee. Well, That's very so sweet. Lot, then. Yeah, yeah. I currently live in the deep south of Texas, uh, and it is yeah. Africa hot here. Oh. Byron just called us today and said how hot it was. It Byron was just builds our trailers. He said, if you walk Texas. on top of the bare steel trailers, he said your shoes will melt yeah. to the trailer. And I told him to get his butt back to Tennessee. He don't, It's so hot, you yeah. know. But now, beautiful, if you're from Texas, but the people are proud in Texas. There was a lady that had in the comments last night. She said, love you guys, but she said, I ain't leaving Texas. Oh, and there's nothing Texas. wrong with that. That's, Texas that's proud, fine. man. Yeah. Uh, she said two to three hundred dollars lot rent is very doable. All my love to Randy, Amanda, and Ace, and all to the incredible tiny community. Um, we got a bunch. Yes, Timothy Lowe. I talked to Timothy Lowe uh, months ago. Love the idea of the community center. Question for Q and A Wednesday. Randy, would you be open to building a non-denominational chapel where people could gather for prayer and meditation? Keep up the wonderful work. That's a nice I idea. I think it's a great idea. That's a great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love that, Timothy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Misty C. Misty C's on here a lot. She asks questions. Amanda and Randy, I can almost see your vision for Buffalo, the Buffalo Creek tour. For yeah, honestly, each area will be better than the next. If I may so so, I am glad to see Ace is running around again. Yeah. Everybody's so happy to see that he's almost back to normal. Uh, here's my Q and A for tomorrow. How soon do you think the twelve by twenty will be ready to roll out? Okay. You want to answer it first? Well, what's it? And she said something else. Yeah. And have you thought of the street name for the 12 by 20 area? Okay. Um, we're getting ready to debut it. You're going to decorate it tomorrow. So it, next mm -hmm. week we'll come out with a video and show you guys the 12 mm -hmm. by 20. And then we're actually going to take the Thunderdome and turn it into a 12 by 20 assembly line. Yes. So we're going to have two assembly lines, the 12 mm -hmm. by 20s and the, and the Incredibox. Yeah. So... That's why we're, we've just hired probably seven or eight guys. Yeah, new we're people. Looking, we're probably looking for another seven or eight. And um, awesome guys. So I think it depends on when we're going to get all this fired up and gone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the building's already built. We don't do that. The electric's there. Right. Everything we're going to mm -hmm. do. We could probably get it fired up. i got to finish what we have inside there. That's going to yeah. be a month or so. Mm -hmm. So probably two months before we'll start building the 12 But the video is going to come out and you're going to see how great this house is going to look. It's going to so, be beautiful. And yeah. the area. And we're going to put the 12 by 20s on the mountain mm -hmm. and on the, the 70. Yeah. Absolutely. How much will the Buffalo uh, Creek month monthly cost be? Don't know yet. We don't know. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Um, is the Buffalo Creek going to have... I mean, it's not... It's going to be... It's not going to be over 300 bucks. No. Uh, yeah. Buffalo Creek is... Is it just going to be 8 by 16s or is it just incredible boxes in general? Yeah, it, 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 12 by 20s can go there. Okay, but it's in four incredible areas, boxes. Because in certain areas. Some, some areas are just tight. Mm -hmm. I'm making them tight for little bitty houses and stuff in there. So yeah. there can be some 12 by 20s coming there, yeah. Okay. Uh, will there be a post office for the mountain and Buffalo Creek, or will there be mailboxes in front of the homes? We're going to have to. 
Oh, we have to. There's no way. Yeah, we're gonna put we a, don't have the room. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to build a, probably build a mountain-looking post office. And somebody I know asked this through here, but uh, I'll go ahead and ask it now. But um, they said, is the post office ready? Almost. Yep. We're, we've ordered the vinyl numbers and letters for all the boxes. She's got almost almost all of the letters done. Amber's been doing those, and we got a little surprise for that coming up. But we'll let you know more next week. She should okay. be done with them by then. Okay. And have, everybody's going to help put all yeah. the, the numbers and info on the boxes. Yeah. Uh, now this is a concern. Uh, Alec, mm -hmm. A L E K. He says, "What is the plan to prevent a forest fire spreading to the houses?" All right. Um. Really, don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm sure there's a threat. And I'm just being honest with you. I yeah. haven't really thought much. I mean, you know, there's always a threat of any homes being close together that it would mm -hmm. spread and go. Um, you know, you do have to get a burn permit for certain times of the year. When it's really dry, yeah, you do not get to burn, and that's just for everyone. Yeah. That's in, I'm sure, every state. Yeah. You know, I would say. Well, you know, we leave. So the only place. You know, okay, even in the prairie, if a house catches on fire, could it catch mm -hmm. another one? I don't know. The lots are 50 foot apart. Yeah. You know, um, really, I haven't done a big concern. I mean, it's, you know, if you go into an RV park, mm -hmm. they're closer than they're what ours are. They're closer than what we do. And every, all the RVs would burn down, um, That's true. too. But you're right. The only, you know, keeping debris and dry leaves mm -hmm. and stuff like they do in, in any place was, is a thing to do. Well, and everybody has to be super mindful. Well, of... I don't want it to think that I don't care. It's just yeah. that I have literally have not thought about it and right if i then i'm thinking well i don't know enough what to do unless you <clears throat> you know clean up well, everything you and have, have no vegetation between the tree well, the houses or anything there is you know? a you know you have to have a fire pit or you have to have a fire ring you know you have to make well, sure he's saying of house catch on fire what's going to keep 10 more to catch on fire well there's nothing to prevent that you have to call 911 and hope for the best and <laughs> get everybody other houses i don't know what <laughs> oh look what they got look what they got Oh, a drone. They got a drone that they're flying over there. They're going to the kids. I'm sorry. We're doing a video. Of, you're good. You're yeah. good. I don't want to bother you. Her voice is super loud. <laughs> um, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, that is so cool. They're doing a drone over here. We built doing... tiny homes over here, and we got a YouTube channel, so sorry to bother you. <laughs> they're... they're over there, they're getting the kids on the uh, the drone. That is beautiful. That's so cool. Oh my God, how fun is that? We wow. got well, somebody asked us to get a drone. Said we did the video. Well, Sam got me one, and we, I got to figure out how to do it. it. Well, Sam yeah. didn't get. Well, Sam got it, but it was the last gift that Mom got me. That Dorothy bought for yeah. him. It was. For, I need to get that out. And, and do you know what? Dorothy it. passed away. I think the eighteen or I can't remember. December. Yeah, December. And the gift came after she passed away. And Randy yeah. opened it, and I went, oh, my God, Randy, that's from your mom. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. She always wanted always wanted to get him what he wanted at Christmas time. So, um, okay. So, uh, Jay Miles, is there still lots available with a model home available on the mountain? Great question because we've been talking about it all this week. Do you want me to answer, Edward? Go ahead and answer. <laughs> okay. So, we Amber is now getting to where... Um, was tr we were trying to see how many lots have been cut out. Randy said you have about, what, 80 or 85? Mm -hmm. We still have some lots left, but we don't know how many. Right. And they are just for the model homes. Yes. So we're going to get a count for you. Yep. Next week we will get an actual count to see how many is actually left. Yep. Okay? Yep. So, we'll, so everybody will know. You got it. So we do have lots for model homes on the original mountain area yes the mountains yep uh vicky lawson sounds like you're going to do cul-de-sacs not sure if that's how you spell it how about a 12 by 20 esp in buffalo creek you had just said okay and we right. can yep yeah possibly okay if so i would look for this to be my future home sounds awesome randy god bless oh, so i that love was, that 12 by 20 you guys are gonna love that yeah i like to have one now something that somebody said yesterday and i i wanted to bring it up just we because that? yeah that's one down okay um Something that I wanted to bring up because this, I, I don't understand this. I don't know if this person doesn't watch us on the regular, but there's not much we don't tell about ourselves. Everybody knows pretty much everything. What else they want to know? What else you want to know? Well, this guy had mentioned, I, I can't remember if it was, I'm pretty sure it was a guy. And he had mentioned, hey, don't try to act like that you're not making money on this. You know, this is, okay. it, you're making it out to be like you just want people to have affordable housing and blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't, don't try to act like you're not making money. Duh, we're in business. Of course we're making 
making money or we wouldn't be in business. Well, I wonder what we did. What, what, what did we say to like we're not making money? I don't think he watches this. I just don't think he watches this on the regular. I think he caught okay. us on there. Or he could be uh, All right, just so saying somebody, it. So somebody said this. They said, yeah. hey, you sold 100 uh, in credit boxes. So they're 20000 cool. a piece. That's $2 million. Yeah. Yeah. You know where it's at? Gone. <laughs> it ain't in the bank account. Okay. So um, you have to buy materials. You got to pay mm -hmm. for, you know, all the labor and everything, of course, to build yeah. them, build all of them. Employees, so, everything. What, half to three quarters of that's gone. It's gone yeah. whatever our budget. But see, we have an overhead that's a massive. Like right now, we're just yeah. hiring 10, 15 more guys. Yeah. They are not walking in and producing income for us. No. We've mm -hmm. also just had a, a massive building that we put, you know, uh, spray foam in it. Mm -hmm. There's so much infrastructure. Yeah. And the materials, I can't even express. Everything's went up. The foam panels, the, everything that has to be bought, everything that ha we have to order the everything went up in price. In advance, weeks and weeks and weeks in advance, or we don't get it. Yeah, we just ordered 50 showers. Showers so, are a struggle okay, right now. So let's say. If everything was paid for, which it'll never be, we're always rolling money and rolling, putting money into the yeah. developments mm -hmm. um, across the street. We're over budget of on course. the mountain. Well, of course we're we are. over budget. Yeah. We have taken in a deposit. Deposit did not pay for all the infrastructure. No. So we're we have to pay for that. Yeah. So yes, we do make money, and I am here to make a living. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's yeah. nobody in the country. Mm -mm. Nobody in the country is willing to sell homes at what we're selling them for. No. Pay the men what they're being paid. No. Right? No, Nobody. You're right. You just seen that where they were at uh, a place and it was the lease was one hundred and two thousand yeah. dollars. Our, our lease starts out at forty. That's an L, LP yeah. sided, mm -hmm. complete stick built home. Right. One of our models. 40. I know. And then mm -hmm. we got the twenty thousand dollar homes. Yeah. So yeah, we um, we better make money or we wouldn't be. Sitting I mean, here. why would we be in business if we're not making money? <clears throat> I don't understand it. It's just like anybody with your own job. Why are you at your job? Are you there I'm, for free? Well, I'm tell you this. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I'm ashamed right now to tell you how much money we do have because you would think, well, my God, you've been in business seven years. How come you got a ton of money? <laughs> that right? would be his next one. You say, oh, my God, ain't you got no more money in that? <laughs> Listen, we look around and we see where the money is went. So yeah. it's, you know, that's just the way it is. And it, I, like I said, I just don't think he follows us or yeah. understands. Or you like, know, the only thing I haven't done is just shown a bank account. Like we have, sometimes we'll have a deposit. Well, you would if I, if I wasn't had, here. Sometimes we'll have a um, million and a half dollars in a bank. Oh and yeah, it, absolutely. And, it, and it'll go down to a hundred thousand. Yeah. And right back mm -hmm. up and then back down and up down. And well, back, anybody that's been in business or anybody that really watches the channel, you have learned just like we have learned on a lot of things that stuff costs money, uh, things are behind. Uh, yep. we've, we've had to buy in advance, and it's just the way it goes. And we never had the intention. Never. I never remember you saying anything about putting having a development and the homes. We were just going to build homes. Never. Well, we had Brothers Cove, and I didn't want to do that again. We didn't want to do it again. There's too much headache. I don't want to deal with mm -hmm. people. I don't yeah. want to deal with the people in these yeah. communities. Then I just don't want to. Then it came to ba to be about that, okay, we I will buy your develop. homes, but where am I going to put it? Exactly. So they're zoning. They're not letting them, they wouldn't let them go yeah. places. We had to had to do something. So, okay. So, and in, in, believe me, we have, you can imagine, you got 170 people, mm -hmm. and then we're going to have probably 1,500 when we're all said and done, or 2,000. Yeah, exactly. You know? Mm-hmm. So, all right, what's the next question? Uh, let's see. Okay, Dave wants to know. And this goes along with, I, I love your idea. Randy came up with the idea yesterday. If you watch the video about Buffalo Creek, about having a place to have like a workshop where people can either go to physically go to work, go up there to meet people, go work on uh, something for your mm -hmm. house, think, blah, blah, blah. Dave wants to know, Wednesday afternoon Q&A, will there be a community workshop available for the residents of the forest, the beach, and the prairie? Yeah. And he's willing to donate. He's got a lot of oh, tools cool, and stuff man. like that. And uh, didn't know if that would be something that mm -hmm. would be a, an option. I'm sure it's going to be something in the future for sure. Sure. You know, the Buffalo Creek was just something because they're LPs, they're, mm -hmm. they're ESP homes. Sure. So they, they're DIYs. They need, yes. And that's why it needed a shop. I think they're really going to enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, Christine Schneider, will you be able to put other models over here? Or is it just the Incrediboxes? She's talking about the Buffalo Creek. You can put other models. Oh, on, not on Buffalo Creek. Yeah, with 12 by 20. Oh, well, it's an Incredibox. An Incredibox. Yeah, but just, a, them. Yeah, yeah. just an Incredibox, though, for now. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, now this and is... And I don't know... Listen, this is a new this community. This is new. We, we want to sell our models, too. Well, sure. But, so, I don't know. We just haven't thought about it. It's I wouldn't, new. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chris Cree 8. 
question shouldn't there be two ways in and out just in case there's a fire what how does it work with a one way in and out what's the deal with that you had one it way in and one way out well you have that at brothers cove mm -hmm. i mean it's not illegal no no and it's actually not just mm -hmm. one lane and one lane out you know yeah can you pass if you had to well there's loops you got a one way yeah. loop in here and you got another loop and there's going to be other loops up in here and, mm -hmm. and it's really not one a one way um one lane all the way in because there's some of it's going to be a two-way lane right but um and this goes along with it m uh d e c i c c o okay uh, are you allowing the 12 by 20 in credit boxes in the buffalo creek community we sounds are. like it will be a very desirable environment for retired couples as well as young married families exactly. that is very nice it sure will this yep. next question is all for randy which one linda that one right there linda, linda benoit yeah i love buffalo creek if I moved there from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Will you marry me, Randy? <laughs> I need to check my hubby first to see uh, if it's okay. Yeah. That's the kind of woman I'd marry. There you right go. There. Exactly. She's got to ask her husband if she can marry yeah. Randy. So. I do. Linda, that, he already said I do. There you go. Yes. Linda, yes. Yes. You have my proposal. Okay. And, um, oh my gosh, I never know how to say her name. She comments a lot on Pacoli. YouTube. Pacoli Carney. Carini. 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 Will, will it be a retention pond at Buffalo Creek? Retention pond. What is a pond? retention pond? I, I think mean? they're all retention ponds. They hold water, you know, runoff water. Retains water. So it's like a runoff water off the mountain. So yeah, it's a, it's a retention pond. It'll be a dam and yeah. So and that's the one we talked at the beginning down at the bottom and the covered bridges and all that stuff. So a retention pond, that means nothing's flowing into it? Is that what she means? Maybe that's true. Um, that's what I'm thinking. We it's don't just have a any bowl. Running, We don't have any running water. There you go. Okay. All right. That's what it means. So that's the only hard part. So we got to circulate the water. Okay. There's an overflow because it will fill at oh. times, you know. Okay. So. Okay. I don't, we're, I got to look into it. You know, I come up with these ideas and I want it to look so cool. And then I remember at Brothers Cove, I had a pond and I wanted it to have flow. Yes. So I took the water that was in the pond yeah. and dug a ditch all the way back up to the house mm -hmm. and put a, a pump in it and circulated and made a waterfall Aww. and all that stuff. And so I'm sure they'll have some sort of water feature and waterfall. Yeah. And I always want, I even wanted a creek coming down Buffalo Creek. Yeah. Is I'm going to pump the water from the pond. I like to pump it all the way to the head of the holler. Mm -hmm. and then come all the way back down and you have a flowing creek all the time oh that'd be great yeah there's yeah. nothing worse than just old stale stop water because that makes no. uh, mosquitoes and all that Green stuff and everything oh okay. snakes <laughs> where we at oh, uh, this one? yeah uh right here emily rose riley okay uh, can you please share information on the accessibility and speed reliability of the wi-fi available in your tiny home community Okay. I've not heard any complaints. None. And I know there's people that work at home. Yes. Online. Mm -hmm. Like for major companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are doing. They have. They're yeah. doing fine. Yeah. Yep. yep. And our, our warehouse, our offices, everything mm -hmm. is on that wi -Fi. We don't have any problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite well. I did. I actually did an advertisement for Newport Utilities. Mm -hmm. They had me come over there as a spokesperson because it's wireless. We don't have. Um, what happened with that? Were you a commercial? Yeah, but it was for, yeah, but it was for in industry. It was an industrial, industrial commercial. Oh. It wasn't for the public. Yeah. Well, I'd like to get a copy of that. <laughs> I wasn't on there in two seconds. Well, but. two seconds. We'll show you. Um, Deborah. Deborah. Back rack. Question. What size is credit box can go up into the Buffalo Creek? It's a big question. We've all, we've all been going over it. What so. size in credit box can go up? Yeah, could go, well, you said the 8x16 or the 12x20. Yes. Mm -hmm. For yeah. now. For we'll now. see. Yep. Okay, we'll fold that. Now. All right. Um, your mojo. Your mojo. Your mojo. I have two questions. What will what will the rent be in Buffalo Creek? Right it, now, 300 right? Yeah, just, mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to, it's going to be two or three, but I wanted to, I want to say three right now because there is, so much vegetation. Yes. There's so many roads to take care of. I don't want to make sure. I want to make sure we got enough money to take care of the sure. place. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I put a 12 by 20 ESP home in the Buffalo <clears throat> Creek? I'd like to. I'd like to put three or four of them there. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. You guys. These are excellent Airbnbs. Yeah. 
Yeah, three or four would be great. Now something. Now I know what's going to come from I that. Don't want, you know what's going to come from that. Never be so how would, exactly. Now there's stuff that we just have to consider with yep. other and people. You know what? I'm going to think about that. Yeah. And how we're going to make that work? Yeah, because there yeah. is an area. Where there's ways of making all that work. We had one of the COVID, yeah. same way. Because one of the things is that a community they want to be beside neighbors who are there all the time. There, yep. I feel there is a place, and I know you do too, for Airbnbs. Absolutely. Well, why don't we section place off? We might just do that yep. because you know um, I think people would enjoy to have neighbors that they know all the time. Yeah. That's just let us know. I understand that. Put it in the comments and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So okay, how much would it, what would it cost to live in Buffalo Creek? Right now we're thinking three hundred bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Now some of these you can pass if it looks redundant. Lou Ann Riffle for question and answer day. Are the roads going to be like blacked topped or paved someday? Um, I like the I like that you're leaving some trees those thorny trees I'd remove. Wow, those are like brutal, mm, man. Yeah. You run into that, it's over. Yeah, as the years come as the years go, yeah. I think all the roads will be paved. Yeah. yeah. Well Brothers Cove was. It Eventually be, all mm -hmm. the roads will be paved in the future. When we start making money. We make some money. We make some money. I know, exactly. All right. Um We Addie. already answered that. Addie? Yeah, we already okay, answered Michael, that. Michael mm -hmm. Michael Tice. What's Mayor going, of Malibu. What's going on with the Minnesota house that was going to sell for the property upgrades? Oh mayor he's always talking about money mayor um yeah it's supposed to come back maybe next week right mm -hmm, possibly yep. they're they're scheduling the delivery right now i hope somebody buys that and wants to buy a mountain lot for it too because it is beautiful mountain home you know yeah the exactly Minnesota house, so yeah um Sher shirley thurston hey shirley how was her name brenda or barbara i never can remember how's I the think it's home it. going um it's not. We haven't had anybody work on it. We got people that need their homes, and that's why we've hired so many guys. Yeah. So we got guys building homes, working on homes, and as soon as we get some time, we're going to be finishing up the giveaway. And two, Alyssa and I are going to work on Friday. Here's what we're going to work on. We are going to call YouTube once again, and we are going to try to get nailed down. How can we draw the name for the giveaway. the giveaway house, like come on, guys, you got to figure it out. Yep. I, if not, I'm gonna call Elon Musk. He'll get it done. I'm gonna tweet him. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet him. Dharma's life. <laughs> How's the humidity there in the summer? Uh, Central it's Il what? Central Illinois sucks. All right, so that's so I'm from I'm I'm from Michigan. I've lived in Florida, and now I live in Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee wins. Yeah, Tennessee beats Florida. I believe, I've been in mm -hmm. Texas in the summer. I've been in Arizona where it was dry, but I've been humid places and it's humid here. But what's good about East Tennessee yeah. is mm -hmm. that it gets cool in the evenings. Specifically, yeah. yeah it gets cool in the evenings. And um, there's probably two hot summers. Of course, we had a mm -hmm. big heat wave last week, but I think the whole world was hot. Listen, we're in the shade right now. There's a little bit of breeze, but we're right on the water, too. Yeah. It is really nice right here. Yeah. It is not hot at all. Randy was in. This was. Uh, Randy went to Kansas. We were all. We were scrambling to make money with anything. We were both working. I was working part time. We was doing all kinds of crap. And uh, he went to Kansas. as one of the hottest places that you went, and you about burnt down. It was 104. And on the roof. And I well I was sleeping in the back of the truck. And he was, was so miserable. 100 degrees at night. I know. With no air conditioning, I didn't sleep for three days. Taking a I, shower in the uh, the truck stops. And then I got up on a roof and hadn't had enough water. Everything went. What'd they pay you? Seventeen dollars an hour? No, it's getting paid. Was you? Good money building pole barns. Was it? Man. I didn't think you made that much. I was the old guy on the crew. Yeah. I felt so good because I knew I could keep up with them. Yeah. And but man, that heat. It's embarrassing. Yeah, and it's different. DJ, so. question for the Wednesday show: um, Are some of the mountain roads intended to be one-way streets? Mm -hmm. Is it just for the videos? The roads throughout the mountain look as if they only accommodate one vehicle at a time single file now on the mountain property we have a two lane road the main one that goes and we got loops so there are twos or one and they're different widths you can't tell in the video but they are different widths yeah uh clara garretson garretson hi just, clara just beautiful love seeing ace looking better yes this looks like the place for me question though i have never been to tennessee those side dirt dirt banks look a bit Omnius. Yes, the great big banks, they're, they're bare and everything that what we showed when yesterday. What happens there's a rainstorm? And are they planning of shoring them up against the flooding? Great question. Yep. Okay, so I've developed land um, 
gosh, we've been doing it now for 20 plus years. And um, those banks are stable. And what we do is we dig back at a certain slope and for certain vegetation. If, um, if they will grow vegetation, we'll, we'll probably, um, we shoot a ground cover on it and it grows grass on it and, and adheres to the, you know, the dirt and holds the dirt in place. So we have never had, and it's not straight up and down, we always slope from one to one slope. Mm -hmm. So we, we take care of that and that's why Yump is so good about maintaining. And that's why I don't know the lot rent on that because if it's, you mm -hmm. know, but it's got a lot of mountains and it's steep and stuff, I got to take care of that. And there are upkeep mm -hmm. on mountain roads. There absolutely Anytime is. Anytime you go up in elevation, it costs money constantly. In, exactly, forever. and you know, uh, going along with listen, when the when the leases start or when the rent when people start paying rent, that ain't money that's just going in our pockets. We have to invest back into the the communities and the company and stuff like that. There's dead trees. How much was our bill for eventually? Was it twenty some thousand? Just cutting the just dead cutting trees. the dead trees in the forest. That's not money that we ever that we allotted for, and gone. we don't have rent coming in yet. So yeah, just dead trees in the forest that come out of our pocket. So it's like you we know, haven't collected any rent. Yet. We haven't collected any rent yet. So all right, another question. Question will be: uh, Will it be a com complicated for a contractor to install a washer dryer or dishwasher? talking about the easy accessibility of the plumbing electrical components. That's a good question. It's probably with the Incredibox or, she's talking about. It's just the same as any other home. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got your drain and your water lines and everything under the sink. Okay. And normally th that is all ran under or behind the cabinets to tie in okay. and put a dishwasher in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice tour, Randy. I wonder what she's talking about. Uh, oh. Talking about the tour of the uh, the mountain. The, of the Buffalo Creek? Well, we did the tour. Well, I don't know what she's talking about. It was yesterday. We did both of them yesterday. So we toured the mountain and we toured uh, Buffalo Creek. Well, it says, um, I grew up in Toronto. We would head we would head to cottage country in the summer. Mm. Oh, man. That sounds nice, yes. don't it? Beautiful lakes, but you would be plaqued. Exactly. Plagued. plagued. That's plaqued plagued with deer flies, black flies, and mosquitoes. And that exactly what happened to me when I was a kid. Michigan, it's all I heard. That's what he said. Absolutely. Tell what happened. He said the kids, they used to run behind the spray trucks. They'd spray for, for you know, all the DDT or whatever they use. God and they, they would be in the cloud of the poof. Look, and it said, God forbid you stepped in the forest. And that's exactly what happened. I can't believe that. that that's man, terrible. You would be eaten alive. I lived in the woods growing up here in East Tennessee. In Morristown, yep. I never got snake bit. I never got uh, Rocky Mount mm, spotted fever. Nothing. I never got ticks. I never got nothing, nothing. happened. I'm, I'm going to tell you. And mosquitoes don't bite me. I've been in the woods here for 35 years, and I absolutely love it. Love it. The woods here, here is beautiful. That's Her saying that was yeah. the main th reason I came here in 1986. Yeah. And I camped out, and I remember it was hot. It was July, right? Yeah. And I remember I had a tent. Oh, God. And I got in my underwear. Yeah. Right? I opened the dra the, the uh, blinds, or mm -hmm. the, you know, the, what do you call it, the curtain to the tent? Yeah, yeah. You unzipped it in the net. Just laid there all night. Nothing mm -hmm. on but my underwear, and I was like, no bugs, no mosquitoes, nothing. That was one of the things that you told me the most. You said it's gray there, it. it's depressing, and there's bugs that'll eat you. Yep, and I came here and I said, that's it. I'm yeah. Done. Yep. Um, question from Kim K. Kim K. What happens when you meet up with another car? Is there enough room to come by? Oh, we yeah, talked about that. We're taking care of all the two way, one way, yeah. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, documentary magic. Take care of yourself. Oh, Randy. now this is the updated Charleston model video that you're they're okay. talking about. I just seen that. It sounds like you do. It sounds like all you do is work, and you probably don't get enough rest. You can tell my eyes right here they're bagged. You want more. my sunglasses? <laughs> so, I'm so happy to hear it takes you feeling off. better. Our animals offer so much emotional support. They do. You know, last weekend because he was so bad, mm -hmm. I actually took most of the half of Saturday and most of Sunday. And I just laid around with him. I know. You know, I hadn't done that in a while. He laid in the bed and with me, and I just felt so bad for him. Yeah. And um, Saturday it, was very scary. I yeah. honestly thought he wouldn't make it through the night. That's what was yeah, scary. Yeah, we thought he was going to have to go to the hospital Sunday. Yeah. He'd been laying for see. four days, man. Yeah, and yeah. it was scheduled to go to UT on Sunday, and had he not gotten feeling better on Sunday morning, yeah. I mean, we were headed there. Yeah. yeah. To, they were going to keep him overnight. Yep, and she's right. I do work too much, but right now it's it just has to happen. I know. You know, we got to work Friday and Saturday to get our houses ready. I have people living in houses in in, in cars. I got people living on 
sofas and neighbors' houses and family just waiting on their homes, man. I mean, we're so, trying. Is right. that was that all of that one? Okay. All right. Um, we're trying to get as many as we can. How long have we been going? Forty nine minutes, Rennie. So. All right. So last. Got Ten love. more minutes. Last love. I hope this doesn't sound stupid. Nothing ever. Nothing does. does. Could you use wall cabinets or for base cabinets? What's that mean? What's a wall cabinet? Okay, a wall cabinet is 12 inches deep and it's above. You know your upper cabinet wall cabinets? Uh-huh, yeah. She's saying, could you use them for base cabinets? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, because wall cabinets are less deep, right? Okay. Um, or trim back the base cabinets and make them less deep. Look or at that. that be... <laughs> That's so funny. Or would that be too much work? Also, just want to say, I've been watching you guys for many years. Have been a few jams and even stayed on property in one of the Airbnbs. Love you and keep up the good work. Oh, that's nice. They're 12 inches deep. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. No, wall cabinets are 30 inches tall. You can get them 48 in different sizes, but okay. um, they don't have drawers. You know, they don't have sink bases. Mm -hmm. and, but it's, you know what? She's thinking that was a great, great yeah. idea for sure. Thanks. Great suggestion. Want to read? read yeah, them? I'll do it. Uh, living right. Huh? Well, we could do, we, we take that, a lesson. Listen, that ain't our handle. Ah, Ace is looking so much better. Hey, Randy and Amanda. Question. My mom uses a rollator, rollator walker with wheels okay. to get around. Are yeah. you capable to build a ramp versus steps for a new home bought to stay in your tiny town? Sure. Thanks, Lisa. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, we got a couple ramps that were built. Now, another lady that asked me, she said, well, the, can the Incrediboxes for people who are disabled... Can a walker go in there? A wheelchair? I don't. They're not. Are they wide enough? I don't think they are. You know. It and would, are we going to build one? Okay. I. The, the door to the bathroom is 29 inches wide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know a walker is usually 30. So we would have to make some changes. We have not made an ADA now. We've not. I think it's great okay. to have because it's all one open. You know. Sure. Room. Mm -hmm. It would easily be able to get around and be good. Yeah. We can put a 36 inch door on it and you gotta open your your door to your bathroom bigger. Mm -hmm. but we have not made one yet for yeah it. but it could possibly be in yeah. the future yeah. yeah you know once we're just starting this is it once we get these down we're gonna build yes. 130 of these and get them out mm -hmm. like we're at what a 34 today oh we're 30, 40 uh something. Well, yeah we're close to 40. Mm -hmm. but not built just in the line but mm -hmm. once we get all the we're still working on bugs Mm -hmm. and guys and people and what we're doing once we get that down then we can make these changes yeah. that won't upset everything yeah and you know one of the things i want to bring up too there was a lady that i spoke to that she actually well i didn't speak to her i actually she emailed and i emailed her back and i said this very nicely i wasn't trying to be rude or anything but i was just uh trying to help her to understand is that the incrediboxes uh, she was kind of offended that we were doing grab and goes. She said, "How can you put grab and goes up at the lot when we are waiting on our homes?" Well, I looked at her number. She's like number sixty something, and I said, "Well, just so you know, we are a, a above or um, ahead of schedule for your contract." So her build was between August and November, and that's what she anticipates. The we are working in just one or two of the incredible boxes. Um, it's not taken away from what your contract is. Yeah. So we're we're ahead of schedule, even with all the delays. Yeah. And I'll, we will get a, a, a total um, number of how many have been picked up as well. Because we had, okay. what, two left yesterday, yeah. a two left today. So we'll get a, we'll get a number for you on that and, as well. And you know what, everybody? We know that when she brought that up. Right, we course. know that you have a time frame and mm -hmm. we said you're going to get that. At the same time, just like the guy said mm -hmm. at the beginning, don't deny that you guys make any money. Yes. We got to keep making money. Well, and two, we got to keep selling. What I told her too, I said, this is how we keep going with marketing. Yeah. This is a marketing thing. It's just the way it is. You have to come up with something new, something exciting, and to have the grab and goes um, is another way for us to market our incredible. Well, I made the decision to have mm -hmm. a grab and goes because. We're averaging now yeah. about three houses a day. Right, exactly. So we get 12 houses out of, I didn't think we'd get three until the end of the summer. Right. That's why we didn't say to her till mm -hmm. what, uh, uh, October, November? Right. Uh, her her contract is August through November. August through November. Mm-hmm. And we're, she may get it sooner. We're. I think we should get all of ours done by the end of August. Yeah, I mean, like it's- all of them. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but we want to offer to everybody, and we're talking the grab and go is going to be an exciting, Hey, when we get one up on the lot, you have to wire us the funds or you have to bring a certified check and you just come and pick it up that day. Yeah. 
we're just going to announce it. Hey, on Monday, you know, blah, blah, blah. We got one ready. Yeah. Take a chance. It's going to be fun. So, um, which one are we Anya? at? Anya. Oh, yeah. Anya. Anya. Uh, question for your Anya Alexandrova. It's like Russian or something, right? Question mm -hmm. for your week. Da, da, da. In laying out your 10 by 20 in credit box lots, which she might mean 12, 12 by 20s, mm -hmm. would you maybe consider at least one 8 by 10 in credit box lot for me? No. I'm just going to say that out of the show. An 8 by 10? Yeah, we're not going to put mix them up. Yeah. We're not going to mix them up. Um, for what I have in mind, even though it's uh, as small as 16 by 20 lot tucked into the end of somewhere would be fine because I don't need a driveway from... It's a, it's an area where it's all going to be 12 by 20s. We're not going to so, so I can it. go ahead and place my order for an 8 by 16 mm -hmm. credit box. Thank you so much for answering. Yeah, yeah. but um, we're not going to mix them. Yeah, well, the, what we're doing is I'm doing certain communities. Yeah. Like the one 12 by 20 community mm -hmm. is 70. We think 70 lots that we can get. Mm -hmm. And I got this. I got fencing. Yeah. I got all of it down to what we want to do. And yeah. we want it to look this. We want a certain look. We've never been able to do I wanted the I beach know. to have a certain look. But we couldn't. It do didn't it. work out. So now I yeah. want this to a certain look, and then we want the the um, a Buffalo Creek to look a certain yes. way. And we're yeah. going to do our best to stick to it because in the beginning we couldn't, and we're hoping that we can with yeah. this. So it's and it doesn't hurt to ask. I, we're not offended at all that no, you that's asked. Awesome. But, um, and we might come up with little guys like that. We don't get very many. Everybody yeah. to me, eight by sixteen was like, oh my god. I know. Small, you know. Okay, BB. Uh, question. So custom homes are back on now. Kind of describe that. We're in the middle of doing custom homes, and we're full for the year of the custum homes we chose. Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. How about I get chosen to build a home next year? How do we get chosen? A custom. Oh, man, just call it. Um, send me, email. Yeah, email. Mm -hmm. Send me your design. Send me what you want to do, and we'll build custom homes. We do. Yeah. Especially now that we're hiring a, a lot of guys, and mm -hmm. um, there's probably, we're, you know, we're going to probably have two or three crews mm -hmm. building custom homes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're going to build maybe 15 a year. Yeah, exactly. Custom, but, really custom homes. Yeah, so he said, you guys are doing great work and helping so many have a home. So glad to see Ace is feeling better. Thank you. Send yeah. an email and we will uh, yeah, get baby. you, yeah, let us know I'll what kind of house it. you love, got. Love, I love custom homes. Yeah. I just can't build, that's all we have done. Yeah, exactly. You know? mm -hmm. uh, Sandy Pitts, uh, on the Charleston without dormers, can you put a 36 inch shower since there is no staircase? Yes. Is that what's in there? Yep. Okay. Uh, BB Dar uh, Darling. Yep. Will the Charleston plan without the dormers remain the same? It shows a washer dryer closet in place of the stairs, right. which would be my preference. Right. This is a beautiful house plan. Can't wait to see Aww. it built. Thank you, BB. Which yeah, now, I liked it too. Which now it's the behind the door, behind where the <laughs> stairs were. I love that. Yep. Which yep. now the Charleston is a 12 by 30 or 10 by, by 30. 30. 10 by 30. 10 now. by 30. Yeah. And it makes a bedroom perfect. Of course, of course oh, when okay. you go to the Birmingham. Then you got da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, 10 go. by 34. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Anna Stevenson. Hi, Anna. Uh, can you get a 10 by 30 with only one level and can it have a gas range? That's um, the 10 by 30 would be the Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get yep. it one level. But the, we're not doing gas. The gas range, what we will do, we'll just leave out a cabinet and you can put your gas range in. Okay. Yeah, where the cooktop is, you just don't put it in. In the gas range, you put your gas line in and everything. You just have it installed. Okay. Um, Becky Page, um, would it be possible to have a Charleston without the upper space and stairs? I'm 75 years old and cannot do stairs. Right. I would appreciate an entirety, uh, entirely one floor yep, space. that's right. If that is possible, what would the, that price be? I currently live in Maine, but okay. need to move to a warmer climate. I have watched dozens of videos of your homes. I just love you guys and what you do. Thank you. Becky, very nice. What's her name? Becky, Becky Page. Hey, we hope you get to come. Becky, look at the Charleston without yes. without dormers. That's exactly what you're looking for right mm -hmm. there. The um, all on one floor, washer and dryer behind mm -hmm. um, the do where the stairs were mm -hmm. behind the door. And it's a 10 by 30 now. Yeah, you'll love it. I just keep saying Perfect. it. It's a 10 by 30 now. You'll love it. Um, Susan Pratt, question for Q&A. On the Birmingham, my favorite floor plan, yours and how many have we sold? Yeah, we sold uh, others. a dozen. You know what I thought? I was like, oh you my know, God. I thought it was Ace. I went, oh my God, we brought Ace and he's out running around. You're a Yeah. We had to okay. leave him here. Okay, that's I mean, good. At home. Man, he wanted to come so bad, he's too. Right. Yeah, he wanted to come. So, 
Um, I forgot what to do. I thought he was here. I was like, oh my god. Um, Birmingham, uh, favorite. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, How wide is the space for the washer and dryer? So the washer and dryer, dryer fridge. fridge. So the fridge we're going to leave for 27 inches and the washer and dryer 27 inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amanda H. Oh, did I comment on here? Or am I asking the question? Probably. I didn't probably. Uh, where can you actually see a real model of your homes and not just the design, Randy? Uh, I'm sick of looking at your designs. Uh, I am too. Maybe that was me. I'm I sick am, of you. I'm sick of. I'm sick of. <laughs> I'm sick of. We don't have a model. It's oh just my so God. stupid. Build a house, man. We'll, we should have someone in about two months. My Yes. They'll start having built. Sooner. Don't say sooner. Later? I'm not getting caught up with having you said. So... In a couple months, I hope to have, yeah. And you know what? That's what's, this is what's a miracle about this business, is that we just showed a plan, a drawing. Yes. And people are buying them and keeping us in business. Yes. Because we don't have the time or money because i got people waiting on their homes, mm -hmm. so I don't have time to build a model, right? Like, if I built a model, then the people that are waiting on their home would be mad at me again. So why right. you build a model and you ain't got my house built? Well, like we said earlier in the show, is that the Abington is coming out. Abington will be yeah. first, Lexington, Lexington will be and next, the and then it will be the Birmingham. Yeah. So they are coming. And the giveaway Models house is given a little bit of what the a Birmingham is going to look like. Yeah, yeah, sneak peek. Julia, Julia, Julia Jarnigan. Randy, why did you wear short sleeves all winter when it was cold? And now that it is hot as blue blazes, you're wearing long sleeves. <laughs> well, short sleeves was in the office, I guess. But this is the shirt that I Keeps got on. Keeps you cool. God, look how dirty it is. Look how dirty. It's supposed to be dirty. You but, work. Um, but it's uh, UV resistant, uh -huh. and I'm trying to keep. You know what I do? What? On the weekends, I get out in the sun. Morning get, sun. Just my skivvies on, mm -hmm. and I lay out there for about an hour. In the morning, like seven, eight o'clock. Skivvies on? Hmm, that's questionable. <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> yeah, if you had a drone, you'd get that's your iPhone. <laughs> yeah, don't drone it over there. But I, you're gonna get an iPhone. But I do get morning. But I try to. St I wear my big hat. I try to. St <laughs> see how brown I am? I even got brown. It's like God. So You're I'm, like a gingerbread. I'm trying to stay out of the sun as much as I can, but still get enough sun to be healthy. Oh, my gosh. So, we're at an hour. So, we're going to do this probably what? You want to do this last page? Let's just pick a page. Pick a page. Okay. Because, look. Look at how many we have left. Okay. Just pick a page. Oh, God. Oh, darn. Don't get a paper cut. Okay. Oh, my God. I wish we could get to all of them. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is... No, this was just You don't want that one. You can't have that one. Just, There's not enough on them. There's... Okay. There's this one. Okay, do that. All right, he's got one. All right, Kimberly A. Neal. Question. Q &A. Hi, Kimberly. What's the gross vehicle weight on the Incredible Box, and how much weight can it can you load into it? Good question. All right, so the 8 by 16 Incredible Box is... The last... When we had it weighed, was about 4,300 pounds. 43. So... The axles are rated at 7,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody overloads everything you can have. So you can have a couple thousand pounds in that thing, 2,500 pounds. What I've heard from my trailer manufacturers, when you hook that trailer onto a tra onto a truck, yeah, you know, 40% goes on the truck okay. of the weight. <clears throat> but anyway, a couple thousand pounds, any more than that, I wouldn't, you didn't need to put more on there. If we bought two Incredible Boxes and we were just one couple who lives there, but we lived in both in credit boxes. He and credit box has his and hers together on the mountain with a breezeway between them. We've been married 32 years and retired. Yeah, I understand. That, listen, saying. that's probably the only way you made it 32 years. <laughs> yeah. Is that not the truth? Boy, now that is the answer right there. Well, let's work it out. Perfect. You get yours, I get mine. Yeah, I love this. Lord. is what I've always thought about. Love box. you, Kimberly. Yep. Girl. Donna Leonard for Wednesday's question. I never Before hear y'all mention anything about my suggestion for the living room floor being lifted as a platform. Living room floor. For two long drawers under the floor. Okay. As long as the length, length of, the of the living, living room, room for what? Storage. Storage? Or a box the size of a queen size mattress. Hmm. It helps the space for those that need more space. So I guess raising the floor up in the living room yeah. and having a bunch of storage under there. You know that's going back to to custom homes, <clears throat> and we've done tough, I've, we've it? done all that stuff. I've had them under the floors, under the kitchens, under Tanks, the everything, everything. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a great idea. We're just not, you know. That, you know what? That it, that's not assembly line talk. <laughs> it's not. That's not assembly line talk, there, Donna. No. no. Yep. <laughs> and the platform bed, you can buy a platform bed, and we can buy platform beds. 
and to, not to mention, we're coming out with Rob going to be building. We're, we're trying to come up with some furniture. We just seen it can, yesterday, the prototype. You guys can buy it for the Incredible mm -hmm. Box. Yeah. Prototype is mm -hmm. in. He's working on it. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Red 5. Love these Wednesday's Q&A episodes. My son, oh, question, it's nice. My son is going to pick up the Incredible Box and bring it to Arizona. Ooh. Does he need some kind of special permit, tags to drive it? This is all very new to us and Ooh. don't want to un unintentionally do anything illegal and get in trouble. Oh, my God. You're going to go to jail. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Your son's going to go to jail. Well, <laughs> you know what? This is terrible, but I, I've hauled myself. Homes. You have. Texas, California, Chicago, Florida, New York. I've been, I've, I've hauled myself. But tell what you hauled with. A box truck. A U-Haul. A U-Haul. So I rented a U-Haul. And it was when we first started. Yeah. But, and well, I just took Bryce's all the way to Oregon. Yeah. And did not have a plate on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had turns, but no, no. Now, in the state of Tennessee, you do not need a license plate for a trailer. Right. Oh, you don't? You don't need a okay. license plate. So... I have never been pulled over, never been questions, never nothing on anything when I pulled it. Now, right. Mm -hmm. If you can get a temporary tag, I would probably get that. That would alleviate sure. any questioning. Yeah. Any state trooper want to pull you over. Uh, get a 30-day temporary tag that you can pull home. Yes. That's what I would get. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mary Harrison, question for Wednesday Q&A. $4 a mile plus gas. It's expensive what's going on. They can't Listen. help it. They don't want to charge that much. Listen. Do we, they? Uh, I got a deal, though. We are getting our traders pulled back from Texas, mm -hmm. and it was four dollars a mile. We we're going to pay to go and get them. I know. And we got a trucking company that's going to charge us too. Thank goodness. Now the only reason is is know. because they have a load coming and going. They're already out there somewhere. Yeah. So they can help us with the price, but and they're yeah, but wow. That's what it is, man. Hauling is expensive right now. If you have a, if you want to buy an Incredibox, box, and you're a long way from here, mm -hmm. okay. We're trying to come up with guys that have these, you know, like eco temp um, trucks that are just F 150s. Yeah. The that, that guys that are retired mm -hmm. that just want to, or women that want to haul an incredible box. Because you don't have to have a permit for the eight no, foot wide. No, you're ones. fine. And, yeah. and I think it's a great opportunity for people that has an SUV or pickup truck. And if you guys live, you know, a thousand, two, three thousand miles from here. If they're making a decent wage and they get to travel across the country and come back and they pay for their... The thing is... It's a great... I think okay. it's a great opportunity. I know. But let me just be on the other flip side of it, okay? Insurance. Who's covering this house if they flip it? If they get in a car accident? Well, you just got to get that you, covered. Listen, if you're going to get a house, you're going to have to get it to you. You got to pay the delivery. It's just all there is to it or you're going to have to come pick it up. But I think there's a way... That, I know what you're saying. But people can haul these not like a, a commercial hauler if it's available. You know I know. Saying? I don't know. It's, I just don't it's know. not very many. No. I mean, Matt can't haul 130 homes. No. You know? So, he needs help. Well. And so. Who would I call? <clears throat> okay, so we sell. We got Everybody somebody retired? wants 150 of them in California. Well, I don't want to pay $5,000 to have a house pulled out of Yeah. So, we're going to get them out there less expensive some way, somehow, you know? And I'm going to figure out a way to get them to you. You know what? Go to your <clears throat> church. <laughs> <laughs> go to your local church. Say, hey, y'all want to help? Or if you don't go to church, go to the B. What are they? The BFW. I just, I just think there's people that are I know what you mean. the country. Of course. Yeah. They're saying, my God, you know, look, honey, we could get our gas paid for mm -hmm. if we wanted to go to California and see the right. coast. We would get our gas. We were going to go anyway. Yeah. Why don't we pull the county home? I know. I just don't know if I would do that because I just. You know. I would. Well, you were, well, we're See, opposite. This is where we go, right? I'm here. just saying, I don't know these people. Hope we edit this thing. <laughs> How about a container pool and both you guys can come over and swim when you want? Oh, my God, that'd be awesome. That's Ash Brand. I've been wanting to do a container pool for a years. A long time. Yeah. I'm going to put a porthole in the bottom so I can look. That'd be cool. All right, Roseanne Jack. 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 Ooh, Jack that's a cool I name. I love it. Yeah. The question Guess I don't understand. What a model is. Yes. I think a model is something people can look at and order. I am missing something. Am, am I missing something? Or is it just what someone can look at and say, I want one like that? Exactly. Good question. It's one you look at and you say, I want one just like that. IncredibleTinyHomes.com. Our models are on there with the prices yep. and the description mm. and the sketches that Randy did on each model that we have. So a model home is, we have a physical model home that you can come and look at. Yes. We don't have yet. We have one for the Incredibox and we have one for the 
a 12 by 20. So we have two mm -hmm. ESP homes that you can come and look at. And then our model homes that are the, mm -hmm. the new design, I don't know what we're calling them things. But um, it's our model homes. Well, we haven't built one. I would love to have a Birmingham on site. Of course, and well, we will. Probably next year. Well, and too, yeah. I just want to say that if you schedule a tour with any of the ladies that have volunteered, I cannot stress this enough, that they have volunteered their time to help us out and to inform other people, meet other people and everything. Uh, if you schedule a visit with us at Incredible Tiny Homes, um, they're going to show you other homes, custom-built homes that we did, yeah. that we have on property. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get to see the quality not the, of build, the quality of build, the craftsmanship, and how things were done, how the walls and how everything looks. So you are going to see more than just the incredible boxes that right. are here. Right. So they, they'll entertain you in that way, so you can kind of know and, how the model will be. And they show you their personal homes. They do, that are decorated lovely. Yeah, and yes. you might get lucky and find people that are walking around and say, oh, Absolutely. you can see my house. Too, and you know? everybody loves to show their yeah. house. Um, Janie Jean Jelly Bean. <laughs> I love that. JJJ. Do the model homes come with a garbage disposal? No. no. We don't put them in. You can put them in afterwards. I've never had one. Do you have to, like, when you use one, do you have to clean it or something? You know, or? I had one before. Did you? When I was a kid. You know, my mom, oh, really? had, my mom had a garbage disposal all the time. Your mom had all kinds of gadgets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, no, we're not putting them in. You can put them in if you like. You know, they can be put in, in later. So do you have to, when you use a garbage disposal, do you have to clean it out every, like, a week or something, or? No, 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 it just, it's like a blender. Oh, and then it just goes out? It's just a blender. Oh. Blends up your stuff and poops out. Yep, goes down You know what drain. I do? I, I go to the toilet and I just flush stuff I don't want. Like, if it's old salad, I go flush it. I do. Lettuce and everything? Lettuce and everything. Carrots? Yeah, I put Red X in the thing, so it chews, <laughs> it eats everything up. Oh, I put everything, yeah, old beef hey, stew. I went to her house, toilet. right? I went to her house and the toilet was backed up. So I said, I got to get the septic tank low. No, pump. So I go out and I'm like, okay, where's your septic tank? Well, normally it's like 10, 15 foot from the house. I mean, the nerve of him to ask me that. All right. Number one, I didn't know. 10 or 15 foot from the house. I don't know, you know where it was. was? No. no, it's like 50 feet out in the yard. All right? Well. So we get out there, we dig it up, <laughs> we find the lid, and it's like, oh my God. It's OMG. Yeah. This was years ago. So then the guys that were helping me pump it, they had this little, um, it's like a rotor rooter. It's like a long skinny hose, right? And it's got a jet on the end of it. Blech. We had to send that jet 50 feet back mm. into the house, right? Oh, my God. And then forced it and pulled Ew. everything out of that pipe. What'd you pull out? Beef well, your stew? Mom, <laughs> your mom, for 30 years, had, and her, had, had grease in that, so the hot grease went down the drain. Now that she, is true. She put grease down well, the drain. I used to do that. That's why you don't do it anymore. We don't, because I don't. the time it gets down the drain, goes in there, it solidifies. So the whole pipe was full of grease. Yeah. And when it come out, it was the shape of the pipe. <laughs> I forgot about this. And it come out this. in lengths like this, of nothing but white Crisco. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what my- White Crisco. Now listen, mama's dead now. Now listen to this, this is what Linda told me to do. Linda would take a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid, and she said, here's what we did. We put, we take the skillet, put some Dawn dishwashing liquid in it, uh, fill it up with water, put it on the stove, I mean, on the, on the eye of the stove, turn it on, get it boiling, and then pour it down the sink. And that would do it? Well, clearly it didn't. <laughs> Oh my God! And but we never had to. We never had it cleaned out for all the years that we lived okay. there until he came along. Right. And, and then the next we thing we were super poor. Remember? Guy, well, the guy looked in there and he said, "What the?" And he pulled what out. The? He pulled out of that tank. <laughs> what was it? Baby doll? No, it was <laughs> this big right here. Twice this big. My right cow here. bag of hair and bobby pins. <gasps> Stop. You guys... Well, I wonder they, where they went. You flushed bobby pins and hair. It'd been in there for 50 years. In that in there. Well, And okay. it was... it come out like this. It's okay. a huge, huge right. ball. Listen. Of I, hair. Okay. Well, that's man's work. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> Fix it. I don't care. I want to flush a commode and I want it to work. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what was in there. Oh my Fix God. it. <laughs> Fix it. I don't care. Don't tell me how to fix it either. Oh, there. Yeah. All right, we're not going to say anything anymore. That's it. Done. <laughs> God. Look at the guys. I don't. In, oh, oh, the guys in the river here. Isn't that cool? Listen, they're over. Well, they've had to hear our talk. <laughs> they had to listen. Oh, they're listen. like ready for us to leave. Oh, my God. They're going right. to be on their home videos. Yeah. All right.
a piece of hair's well, killed me. You know, thanks for people watching this. Oh, I thought she was going to thank me. <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you, Amanda. For people watching this. Yeah. You know, oh, my gosh. And uh, Randy, the comments, amazing. the questions, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And um, the um, on Facebook, for the love, the outpouring of love for Ace. Aww. My goodness. Everybody was worried because I'm going to tell you why. Um, They've seen him grow up as a puppy. They've seen him know? grow up. But our people at Incredible Tiny Homes are, they're dog people. Yeah. It's went to the dogs. Listen, Incredible Tiny Homes has went to the dogs. Somebody said today, they said, hey, somebody said, I can't come there with a bunch of dogs. You no. Can, you mean you don't have a limit on the size? And, and what kind of breeds and, breed? and stuff? And no, like, they're all welcome. We love dogs. We love animals there. And um, and everybody's super respectful. And they, they do, they know with, in what. But we all love our animals. So thank you so much for everybody for thinking about him, praying for him. We yeah. thought we was going to lose him. And uh, we're just so thankful that we didn't. Is that somebody else swimming? They're swimming in the river. Is that, they're over there? Look here. Oh, I was wondering who that so was. So the boys are swimming, mm -hmm. and then way up the river they're swimming. Way out there. But see that rock bluff? Yeah. And so, hey, we should do a little video on the way out, and we can show what it looks like okay. driving out of here. Man, we have went long today, These ain't we? These guys are down here. This is just, you all can come here. This is a public area that you guys can come and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank right. you, Newport, for being for having this here for people of Newport and all of our customers that are coming from out west and coming from places that and moving here. We we absolutely love that you have chosen yes. Newport to be your new home. And you know what, we're going to be adding to our mountain. We are community, and mm -hmm. I think it's in the same temperament of this. Yeah. It's the same flavor of of the river yeah. and, and mm -hmm. stuff and you know man we got an island of ourselves oh and too and i want to thank newport for employing our new people who are coming here because they're giving yeah. them part-time jobs they're giving them full-time jobs they're giving them a uh, new life uh places to eat yeah, man. people to meet and stuff so thank you for for doing that we really appreciate there's it. so much to come so you know, much it's like you know the villages down in florida they got like oh like, yeah boy that's its own zip code ain't it they got everything but we're gonna do we're gonna do them a microcosm of that yeah because when you get a couple you know what 1500 2000 people yeah. in a community mm -hmm. in them, all of our communities and mountain and everything mm -hmm. you could substantiate a small grocery store mm -hmm. you know a little barber place yeah. there's so many cool and things you will come. end up and learn how to talk like me so get used that's to it inevitable. <laughs> that's inevitable even, it's gonna happen cindy brand and curtis we're talk like you <laughs> We'll say y'all. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching today. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? Please keep sending your questions in. Yeah. And we will Sorry we can't get to all of them. My gosh. We will keep you up to date. Everybody, we're building homes for. Yeah. Your ESPs, we talked about all that stuff. We're working, we're going, and we're excited about the future. And somebody asked me today, and I'll let you go on this. One of the guys asked me, he said, hey, uh, he's a new guy today, second date. And he said, hey, uh, you know, he didn't say, I know you're not a young whippersnapper, but he said, <laughs> he said so what happens to you does you know does everything keep rolling if it's, you know you kind of kick the buck <laughs> he didn't say that he goes what happens if something happens to you what yeah, that's what he said and wow I said, I said, you know what? interesting I said, don't you worry I he said, just started yeah i said you know what this place is a lot bigger than me and i said it'll continue to roll on with the people that's behind me i said there's a long young lady in the office right there that'll kind of see to that so. Are you calling me young? Young lady. Young well, me. You know yeah. what? You're just getting nicer because we're getting ready to get in the car together. That's all Because I got to sit. Well, yeah, I'm going to so be setting close. my best clothes. I know it's in the like the um, yeah. in, in credit car. We're in the in credit hey, car. Subscribe if you will. Give us a thumbs up or down. I don't care. Tell us every what you think about us. And um, come come to Tennessee. Come see us. Don't come and see us. Don't don't come and see come us. Come and see us. No, vi a schedule a visit. Yeah. yeah. We'd love to show you around. It's yep. becoming a spectacle. My it dream is. was to set, to make to make Newport, Tennessee the headquarters of incredible tiny mm -hmm. homes. I mean headquarters of tiny homes. Yeah. Like, we're calling it tiny home, tiny town tiny USA. Tiny town USA. And I want it to be the place that you know what? When you think of tiny town, tiny homes. Tiny homes you think of Newport, of Newport Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, that's right. right. And incredible tiny homes. We're slowly getting there. We'll do our best to make that happen. But that's what's inside my heart, my my mind, and do it in a in a real healthy way. Yeah, I need I need to get more rest, and I will. And but as soon as these homes are kind of off, what four or five months? Yeah, I'll be going to Costa Rica surfing. Oh, I heard Costa Rica's hot, and a bunch of monkeys jumping around on you. <laughs> I love hot, and I love monkeys. Oh, do you? Oh, they, oh well, bye, boy, bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> bye.